Morning, everyone. <clears throat> so, uh, with everything happening, I'm just, I don't know, I'm pretty jazzed up this morning. I figured I needed to get on here to say what I feel like I need to say. Uh, the horses are riding. I don't know. If, some of you can't see that or refuse to see it. Others see it. You know, and I, I'm not going to name names, but <laughs> someone someone coined the phrase, if you have to ask if we're in tribulation, we're not in it. And I think that's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Blessed is he who has eyes to see and ears to hear. Now, why would God tell us that if it was going to be obvious? The tribulation is going to be seen with spiritual eyes. Because you know what the world's going to say? You know what people are going to say? Ah, oh, you know, climate change and oh, just unlucky, you know. Or, oh, yeah, there's bad, bad cough around here. People aren't, aren't doing their part. That, that's the excuses that the world's going to give and people are going to that people already are just accepting it <clears throat> and for those of you who are waiting for things to like yeah, you know I you know I don't know maybe there's two ways to see it But, I mean, eventually you'll come to the same conclusion that those of us who are saying that we're, you know, the horses are riding at the very minimum, have been saying, you should come to that conclusion first. I mean, think of, think of Nazi Germany. There were people at the very beginning when Jews had to wear the compulsory star that knew where it was going and it started then it didn't start three and a half years later <clears throat> when he started to um, extinguish them it started then there is always a lead up there's a build up no, it doesn't just bang happen no there is a lead up the white horse the crown that beer company, you know what I'm saying? Can't say the word. The Chanel, Chanel number 19, you know what I mean? White horse with the bow, simple piece of fabric. What did everyone have to, well, what was everyone told to uh, put on their face? You know, a nice face diaper, simple piece of fabric, worldwide. Worldwide. Famine. I mean, I just spoke on... We're, it's already happened, guys. It's already started, I should say. And it's going to get worse. Everything just gets... It just gets worse. It doesn't just... It's not zero to a hundred. You know? The world doesn't... Run like a McLaren. <laughs> It's, you know, it's like a 1979 Volkswagen. You know what I mean? It takes some time to get up there. I mean, just look what this first round of shutdowns did to the world economy and the supply chain issues. Now we have articles coming out that uh, models suggest uh, people are going to be falling dead from <clears throat> the new O-Man very, very something ant, you know what I mean? I'm going to be picky. You know, it's hard to tell nowadays what words you can and can't say. So, they're anticipating in the coming weeks 
uh, large numbers of people are going to be um, falling over. We'll call it Amos chapter 2, verse 3. Take a look at that. I'm not saying that that's the fulfillment, but I mean, that's what's, you know, basically what they're saying, right? <clears throat> We're going to go into another. I mean, look, we don't even need to go into another. Oh, I'm going to call it an LD. We don't even. A lowdown. Yeah, there we go. We'll call it a lowdown. We don't even need to go into another lowdown for the supply chain issues to increase. Uh, China's already closing their ports. Now, whether that's because of the flu or because uh, getting ready for war, probably both, doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. They're shutting their ports. Canada and the US, unless you have your version two passport, truckers are not getting back and forth to the states. US and Canada do a large amount of trade with each other. And what we don't get from Canada, we get from China. So, there's that. They've been warning and warning and warning about these planes and the planes and the planes, whether it's true or not, and whether they're going to give them, uh, you know, adequate space around airports or not. Again, it's irrelevant. What matters is they're putting it out in the public, so when it happens, the public already was expecting it. That's how programming works. It's a full ground stop. They're going to halt shipments. Maybe not halt, but drastically, drastically reduce shipments. The famine is about to go to the next level. Look where we went just in, in one year from when this whole thing started, where we were. And that was with ample, ample amount of goods and, and services. And, and now, now look where we're at. And now we're going to do it again? I mean, there's the black horse. The red horse, it, you know, he, you can hear him galloping. You can hear him in the distance coming this way. Real, real easy to see. Especially now from this past week. Like, it's incredible. It's, it's around the corner where it starts how it starts again it's irrelevant it's here you know the pale horse pale horse it's here and it's going to increase because now we have worldwide application of not only number 57 Right, I understand it's been active um, <clears throat> in other countries, but you have to look at what frequencies they've been allowed to use. It has not been, we'll call it, quote unquote, fully deployed. That happens now. And when, if you go to, go to I posted a, a, in my comments section a link <clears throat> to a brother's uh, ready to rumble page and uh, it goes by the name of Logic uh, prior to authority will say it that way uh, great documentary it's called Radiation 2.0 I believe something like that uh, the radiation you guys know the towers used to be called radiation towers right the towers, <clears throat> now based on, this is all by scientific study, okay? Known facts for a very long time. This isn't some new coming out of the woodwork science, okay? This is decades old. The radiation put off by these towers will In half a mile, turn right onto Graham Road will fully take hold, will fully, we'll call it envelop or affect uh, those within the surrounding environment within six months' time. There's your pale horse. But as take the next right onto Graham Road. 
it's starting now. I mean, it has started. Look at all the different ants that are all running amok from the large ant hill that was... Continue on Graham Road for three quarters of a mile. Chanel 19. We're in... We're in the fifth seal right now. We're waiting. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're waiting, but... Everyone else that's already up there is waiting too. You know what I mean? The horses are riding. They're riding. The crown has already been given. The famine has already started. <laughs> you know, arguably the war has already started. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Mars Road. And the pestilence has already started. Blessed are those with eyes to see and ears to hear. Because the tribulation is going to happen right in front of people's faces. And they won't even realize it. Take the next left onto Mars Road. Alright, take care guys. God bless you. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. <clears throat> Get in the Word today. Study. Show yourself approved. Work out your own salvation. Learn, grow in wisdom and relationship with the Lord. That's it. That's what He wants. It's super easy, guys. It's not that difficult. The Lord will make changes through you. The Holy Spirit will. But you got to invite Him in and you got to have a relationship. All right. Take care. God bless you. See you on the other side. You know, I want to add this real quick to the end of my video. <clears throat> the horse is riding. <laughs> so, you know, Ecclesiastes 1 9. What was is what is, is what is to come. There's nothing new under the sun. So, while the seals, arguably, from a historical standpoint, can be said uh, we've already went through, which is fine. I can see that as well. I would call that a small p prophecy or the prophecy. The, the is, right? But it's not the is to come. You know, you can think of it as the, uh, the was and the is, but it's not the is to come. That's going to happen, you know, it's going to happen again right at the end. And it'll be significantly worse. It'll be global like it's never been before. But from a historical view, yeah, I can see it. This is what I'm talking about when I say there's layers. Small P prophecy, capital P prophecy, there's layers. Fulfillment over fulfillment over fulfillment, but eventually and where we're at now. I fully 100% believe With everything you know, there's gonna come a point in time where everything comes together and That's how you know that it's the capital P prophecy everything's gonna come together and That's what we see now We're at the capital P prophecy the last fulfillment and it's happening now all right, take care. God bless.